today we'll be talking about Mercator selling all right and we'll be taking a couple of two different examples uh, regarding Mercator selling so in the first example uh, two positions will be given to us and we will have to calculate the course and distance between them and in the next example uh, a departure position course and distance will be given to us and we would have to calculate the final position or the position arrived so we'll be using the principles of Mercator selling or rum line selling which is used when distances between two positions are greater than 600 nautical miles if it's less than 600 nautical miles we use plane and parallel sailing all right so let's start with the two examples so remember in when it comes to mercator sailing questions there are two formula to remember i have written down those formula here and you can see that the first one is d lat equals distance times cos of course this is also the same one used in plane and parallel sailing and the second one is uh, very distinctive to Mercator sailing because it deals with DMP and the formula is that uh, D long divided by DMP gives you tan of course. So there are two formulas given here. All right. So you will have to remember these two formula and if and if sometimes it's given to you in the exams depends on where you are studying. But these two formulas are the only two formulas that you need to solve both kinds of Mercator sailing questions. So let's take the first one. Uh, the first example says that you have to find the rum line course and distance between position a and position b all right that's the shortest uh, course or distance between so that that is called rum line sailing or rum line course is the shortest distance between these two positions so the two positions are given to you and the latitude and longitudes are given to you so the first thing that you do is uh, let's move on to solution you can see the solution is here so i've written down the latitudes the two latitudes a and b and uh, just go through my videos on how to calculate DLAT, D-long, and meridional paths in other videos as well. But I'll give you a quick recap. All right. So in the first one, DLAT, uh, the latitude of A is two two degrees twelve minutes south, and not latitude of B is ten degrees nineteen minutes north. And they are of different names. One is south and one is north. That's why to find the DLAT, you would add the two values. All right. I've detailed this in. I've, I've discussed this in detail in my other videos go and find my other videos um, uh, which discusses how to calculate your d lat and d long all right so if you add the two values you get 12 degrees and 31 minutes but you have to convert it into minutes to solve the rest of your question so 12 degree and 31 minutes equals 751 minutes how does it do that so because one degree equals 60 minutes so 12 degrees take 12 degrees multiply by 60 you get 720 and then add the remaining minutes to it which is 31 minutes from the question right from here i got 31 minutes and that will give you 751 minutes this is your d lat degrees converted into minutes similarly your longitude is 160 degrees 18 minutes west and 140 degrees 40 minutes west because they are similar names west and west you would subtract it once you subtract it, you get 19 degrees and 38 minutes. Now, how do I name the DLAT and DLONG? So, I'll again have explained this in other videos, but I'll quickly take you through. So, in the first case, in the DLAT, you're going from south to north, right? So, if you're going from the southern hemisphere to the northern hemisphere, this is the southern hemisphere, this is the northern hemisphere, you're going in a northerly fashion. So, your DLAT is north. This is useful to name your course. That's why I'm named it north. In case of longitude, it's a similar principle. So in this case, you are going from 160 degrees 18 minutes west to 140 degrees west, and you are going in an easterly direction. All right. So if it's not clear to you, just uh, visualize this here. All right. So this is your anti meridian. You are very close to the anti meridian of 180 degrees, which is uh, so its opposite side of the Greenwich meridian is your anti meridian or your prime meridian 180 degrees and your 160 degrees west would not be on the left hand side where you normally draw your west longitude if you look at it from a 000 degrees perspective but if you are going around the earth your west longitude would come right on the right hand side so you are somewhere here 160 degrees 18 minutes west right uh, so you are taking a round circle and then you are going uh, longitude a and then longitude b is uh, 140 degrees here sorry so this is 140 degrees 840 minutes all right sorry about this it's a bit crammed up 
but let me explain to you again so if it's I'm not doing a good job here let me explain to you how it works so it's uh, you're very close to the anti-meridian all right so remember that so anti-meridian is one at zero degrees right so if you're going round from zero 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 and you're going west you come around the earth uh, so your first longitude is here it's very close so one six zero degrees 18 minutes would be here all right so you'll have to visualize the earth's surface and one four zero degrees would be here because you're coming round from the uh, west side so this is west so you can see if you are going from 160 to 140 you are going in the easterly direction all right that's why your d long is east all right now so if you are not being able to visualize just imagine this so if if this was your 000 degrees your west longitudes would be here right this would be your west longitude but these are the one which are closer to the Greenwich median 010020 but as you keep going round and you go to the other side if you go to the other side and you come to 180 so you can now imagine if you're looking at it from the 180 perspective 180 this is 180 your west longitude would be on the right hand side here which are closer to it like 160 and 140 that's how you have to look at it all right so i won't waste too much time on this i've explained this in my other videos but i i know that students do get confused a little bit especially if you're not an experienced mariner but uh, you get the idea right so i'll come back to what i was doing here so again you got your d long 19 degrees 38 minutes and how do i convert it into minutes it's the same one you take 19 degrees times 60 will give you 1140 add the remaining minutes to it 38 and you get 1178 that's your d long all right to calculate your medial parts of a and b this is based on the latitudes of a and b latitudes of a and b all right you have to calculate that as well that will give you your dmp so first you have to calculate your medial parts that's your mp so latitude of mp of a which is 2 degrees and 12 minutes just uh, go to the uh, medial parts table that you find in the nautical almanac or uh, norris tables rather not nautical almanac norris tables so for 2 degrees and 12 minutes which is the latitude of a let me go and find the so for 2 degrees and 12 minutes you can see uh, 2 degrees is given in the horizontal column and 12 minutes is given in the vertical column so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to use my marker here uh, and i hope i can do it yes i can so if i go down the two degrees column you can stop here is the 12 minutes around. all right so this is 131.41 that's the value you have to take 131.14 rather all right so 131.14 is the value you have to take i have raised this so you can see that this is 131.14 is the value that you have to take this is the one for two degrees and 12 minutes all right now if i go back uh, the next one that's what i've written 131.1 so i've stuck to one decimal place you can write two decimal places but i've stuck to one decimal place here doesn't matter you can start to you can write two as well doesn't matter the answer won't differ much for the next latitude of 10 degrees and 19 minutes uh, that is latitude of b not since how doesn't matter you go into the same tables so 10 degrees and 19 minutes if you go down the 10 degree column and you stop at 19 minutes you have to go down the 10 degree column right and you stop at 19 minutes you can see here it's 618.18 so i might have rounded off to 618.2 uh, to keep to one decimal places yes that's what i've done right so 618.2 so that's i've got my medial parts so i've done this uh, I've, I've delivered this before as well in my other videos go and have a look but uh, you get the idea you have to go into the medial parts table and get the uh, mp or medial parts value for the latitudes of a and b this is pretty straightforward here there was no interpolation required but in my next uh, example you will have to do a bit of interpolation for the exact uh, up to the decimal of a minute all right so in this case the rules are the same as dlat so one is south one is north you would add the two values and if you add the two values you get your uh, dmp all right that's the difference between the medial parts all right 749.3 now taking these three values which is your dmp d lat and d long you go into the first formula which is your tan cos equals d long by dmp i've written that formula before put in the values 1178 divided by 749.3 what you should be getting is 1.57213 do a tan inverse taking tan to the other side you should be getting 5732.4 minutes how do i get my north and east this is from my d long so east is my same as my d long and north is from my d lat that's how i name it but courses cannot be in decimals right you cannot steer courses in decimals so you have to convert it into a round number in this case because it's more than 30 minutes i have converted it into 
58 degrees so if it was less than 30 minutes i would keep it to 57 but because it's more than 30 minutes i have rounded it off and i have made it north 58 degrees east which is also equal to 058 degrees true right because if i look at it from north and south and east and west north 58 degrees true would be somewhere here that means this is 058 degrees true this is north 58 degrees true east all right moving on the next formula is d lat equals distance times cos of course i've written that formula as well you need to calculate your distance so you take keep your unknown to one side take the cos cos to the other this becomes d lat divided by cos cos which is 751 divided by cos 57 32.4 this is for exact accuracy because that's what the answer i got you can make it 58 as well the answer will slightly differ but uh, you can keep it to 57 32.4 also okay so you can use 58 or 57 32.4 it doesn't matter answer slightly differs uh, but just for accuracy i've put it the exact course that i've calculated and the answer i'll get is 1399.3 miles there is no inverse required here of sine cos and tan it's a straightforward uh, value and this time you keep the decimals because distances can be in decimals all right or you can round it off in practicality on the ships and you can make it 1399 or 1400 uh, doesn't matter in the longer term perspective all right so that's your first example my second example here is uh, the, when the position is given to me uh, one position is given to me and i have to find the position arrived if i've known my course and my distance which is 301 1408 miles i have to, have to use the same formulas again but before i do that i have to convert my course into uh, a two-figure notation which is uh, 301 in this case is north 59 degrees west now why do i do that is because it helps me to name my d light and d long so uh, when i name my course in two figure notations uh, this north and west helps me to name my d lot and d long because i know that's the direction in which i'm going so if i am going in uh, 301 degrees true this is north and this is west north west is here 301 is here right so this is north 59 degrees west all right, not drawn to scale but you get the idea so that's why i've named it north 59 degrees west because it helps me to name my d lat and d long once i do that just use the formula d lat equals distance times cos of course distance is given to you in the question course you've just calculated even in this place here even if you use 301 it won't make a difference except that you will get a negative value just ignore the negative value and you will be getting the same answer you can try it out but i have made 59 degrees because that's the Two figure notation i've got here so i i can remove it but just for your sake if you get confused i've got that value from there all right you can also use 301 if you want so you get 725.2 this is minutes remember that anything more than 60 is minutes uh sorry it's always going to be minutes but if it's any more than 60 you'll have to convert it into degrees and minutes and how do i do that so 725.2 725.2 divided by 60 gives you your answer in degrees and minutes so your d lat is 12 degrees and 5.2 minutes how do i get my north that is from my course so i'm on a northwesterly course i've named my d lat north the west will be used to name my d long all right so the next step here is you've got your departure latitude which is given to you in the question 00 degrees 04 minutes you've got your d lat 12 degrees and 5.2 minutes you're on a northwesterly course that means you're from south you are going towards north so of course you will be subtracting it to get your arrival latitude which will be 12 degrees 1.2 north all right so if you have to visualize it i can make you visualize it but i don't know where to draw it so it's something like this this is your equator zero degrees uh, you were here at zero zero degrees four minutes south and now you have gone this is your delay 12 degrees and 5.2 minutes north so you have reached the northern hemisphere this is the north hemisphere and that's why your deal your latitude arrival latitude is 12 degrees 1.2 minutes all right now you've got your departure latitude and you've got your arrival latitude for these two values you have to find the meridional paths as you have done in the previous example remember do not find it out for d lat some students get confused and they find it out for the d lat and that's a no no all right no you don't do that so you have to find it out for the departure and the arrival latitude so for the departure latitude of zero degrees is zero four minutes it's going to be pretty straightforward just go into the nautical, nautical table zero degrees and zero four minutes you can see it's 3.97 zero degrees and zero four minutes you go down here 3.97 all right maybe i rounded it off and i've made it four uh yes i have done that four minutes south right it's named same as the latitude 
for 12 degrees and 1.2 minutes north I have named it north and I've got 7 to 1.7 let me show it to you how I've done that all right so what you do is you find out the values you can see in red here I have shown you how to do that so you find out the values and you have to do some interpolation because it's 12 not 12 degrees one minute but it's 12 1.2 minutes so you find out the value for 12 degrees and one minute for the table and you find out the value from 12 degrees and 0 2 minutes so if you go to the tables uh, you find out the value for 12 degrees I'm sorry where am I going wrong here so I have to find it out for the next value right Oh, what's happening here so I have to come out of here this is not I'm not doing a good job here now isn't it guys so I've got this video now in a very awkward position but I don't know what to do so what is happening here boys ah, okay I've got it now <laughs> I'm sorry so 12 degrees find it out for 12 degrees 1 minute and 12 degrees 2 minutes uh, sorry about that so and you've got those values okay 7 to 1.47 7 to 2.49 all right you can see that here so go down the 12 degree column and you can find both the values so if i go back here 7 to 1.47 and 7 to 2.49 you can see for a 12 degree one minute and 12 degree two minutes i've written down the value so for an interval of one minute which is the difference between these two here interval of one minute the difference between these two values is 1.02 all right so 72.49 minus 721.47 722.49 minus 721.47 that's how i've got this value here and this is two minute minus one minute so for a difference of one minute i've got 1.02 but i need it for 1.2 minutes so 12 degrees 1.2 minutes so for a difference so for 0.2 minutes what will be the answer so just multiply this here and divide it by this here this is what i've done here right what you get is 0 0.204 so as you can see if you are going from 12 degree 1 minute to 12 degree 2 minutes the MP is increasing so that's why you take this 0 0.204 and you add it to the MP value of a 12 degrees and 1 minutes to get I've rounded off to one decimal figure this is for 12 degrees 1.2 minutes which is required all right that's the interpolation so once I've done that uh, 7 to 1 1.7 I go back and I can see you can see that that's the value I've written right I've written that th that value 7 to 1.7 uh, here so it's south and north the rules are same as the DLAT rule so if they're opposite names you will add the two values and that's how I've got 7 to 5.7 taking that the third step is D long divided by DMP which is equal to 10 of course so here your D long is given uh, is required to be found out you know your DMP take it here becomes multiplication so d long 10 59 times 7 to 5.7 gives you 1 to 7.8 1 to 0 7.8 uh, this is your d long you need to convert it into degrees and minutes because it's more than 60 so you divide it by 60 you get 20 degrees 7.8 minutes where is the west coming from again remember the course we are on a northwesterly course so north was d lat west is d long once you got the d long you know your departure longitude was 178 20 minutes west from there you are going further west so that means you are you are crossing the anti meridian of 180 degrees all right and you are going on to the other side so what i've done is of course you will add to it so if you have to visualize it uh, then you are here this is your anti meridian 180 degrees we are very close to the anti meridian 178 degrees 20 minutes west right you are going further west this is westerly direction by 20 degrees and 7.8 minutes which is your t long so naturally you cross over to the eastern side of longitude so when you add it the arrival longitude is more than 180 it cannot be more than 180 all right longitudes can never be more than 180 degrees so you will subtract it from 360 degrees and you will reverse the sign all right so this was west and west ideally you would say oh i'm going from west to west it has to be west so when you subtract it from 360 degrees you get the correct longitude and of course you can see here if this is west this is the east side you're very close to the anti meridian conceptually also it becomes right right so hopefully you understood this question if you have any questions or if you think uh, i've gone a bit fast and you, you didn't understand a particular concept i'm happy to concentrate on a 
particular uh, concept and uh, come back and make another video or answer your um, questions through the comments all right see you soon with a new video